Hi, my name is Forrest Gump. And I'm Todd Liner. We're about to talk about carpal tunnel syndrome. What's that? Carpal tunnel? Carpal tunnel. Tell me what carpal tunnel is. Carpal tunnel is when you know your hands and stuff be like tripping on you and stuff. And your hands be like hurting and stuff because you be all sitting there all day talking about, I got this, I got this, I got this. So this is a syndrome that affects your nerves, affects your wrists and your hands and fingers. Um, in the, car- the carpal tunnel is made up of bones, tendons, nerves, and when it, it, when it, when it uh, swells or there's inflammation, it causes pain with the nerves. It can cause your fingers to be um, go numb and also have pain. Now you're doing something that's unnatural first and foremost. When you sit at a desk all day and you're just typing and typing and typing and typing and typing, that's unnatural. So over time, the body, you're, you're tensed and the muscles from that tension creates a swelling you know you, you you create a problem whether you know it or not and you would think that it wouldn't happen you think that we're struggling but we when you're tense that's what creates the problem I don't think we relax and in my mind is you know we can relax but we don't because we're so involved in, in that in that the duty that you just you actually create a problem from yourself yeah you definitely because do. you're doing something that's not natural so why don't you talk about some of these the signs that you have carpal tunnel and then we'll go into things you can do to help yourself heal from it well you got numbness of pain you know you like a painful burning sensation yeah, you you got um what they call muscle fatigue yeah you got hand fatigue, cramping hand cramping and then you also have like weakness um Disrupted, you can disrupt your sleep as well. You know, people that sleep in like, uh, some, well, I, I know I sleep sometimes in a little fetal position, you know, you know, and you know, that you're cutting off the circulation. <laughs> See, I'm not doing all that, but you know, like, sleeping in the fetal okay. position with your, with your wrist bent can cause you to, can, can make the situation worse. And because it cuts off the circulation, because you know, when your hands are, when you're in a fetal position and your body is not relaxed or not at an angle so that the blood can flow. It, it causes swelling, mm-hmm. and then it, which leads to like a burning sensation, mm-hmm. and then you lose sensitivity to your you lose sensitivity. Right. So you have you have a lot of people who have carpal tunnel syndrome have it's much worse in the morning. So they have morning stiffness. Mm-hmm. And they have to actually shake it off. You know, like, you know, move the fingers and try to shake off the skin. And which is which is which is imagine not being able to feel. Right. And you touch something hot and you get burned. Yeah. So so it imp- so what you're talking about there is it's impairing your temperature, being able to tell the temperature. Yes. Yes. Because yes. because your your nerves have been uh, are not being receptive to the hot and cold sensation, you can actually burn yourself. Well, out. it's actually worse than most people think. Most people don't give that a thought to carpal tunnel, but it, I mean because it mainly happens to women, so most people don't really think about it. Mm-hmm. But you know, solution to this is you know you have to figure out. You know, you, first of all, you got it from work. Mm-hmm. You know, so what's a good solution to this? Well, see, well, a lot of times what they do is when you're at, when you're at work, they give you like these little wrist things to put on your hands to actually keep your hands extended, so you don't so try to keep the wrist extended and restrict your movement a little bit. So In other words, make that, make the job make the job pay for your hands getting back to normal. Right. So, um, from an herbal perspective, we have some a few products that we can use now. It does, it's not going to stop. It's not going to prevent you from getting from because it's a repetitive action thing. But there's some things you can do to help with the pain. So there's MSM sulfur, which is going to help with the inflammation. We have there's, a, there's also turmeric, which will help with inflammation. That's as well. true. That's true. These, so these so, are herbs and these are products that will help with the inflammation, which is causing the pain. Now we also have a joint formula that's going to help with um, any pain, any arthritic conditions in your joints. So that's going to help as well. Um, we have. Other part we have people is our our headache and pain formula. It has uh, white willow bark and that breaks down to biosalicylic acid. That's what it breaks down to. That's the component that they use to make aspirin. They made a synthetic version of aspirin from the white willow bark tree. So that that's a, that'll be a painkiller that's non addictive and it's not going to be a pharmaceutical grade. Then you can't hurt yourself with that. You really have it with an issue like that. I think you really have to. You have to look into that. You have to, because to undo that, you, that's a nerve damage. That's nerve damage. And so you, yeah, that's nerve damage. So, and then it becomes a swelling, which leads to the inflammation part of it. But you got a nerve issue. 
Right. So now, so that's another whole another part of this disease. So that's now, if deep. you have a nerve issue, that yeah. you know, it's possible that the, the myelin sheaths on your nerves have been uh, damaged. So now you're, you're relax. Yeah. So you have an uh, issue with that. So we have a nerve form to help you relax too. Um, that's going to have like uh, valerian root. All and natural. Cobbles, All no side relax. effects. But we want to make sure that you understand that this is a disease of repetitive motion. So you're going to have to slow down the repetitive motion or, you know, take it some time to let your body heal from this because it's, it's very painful. And people don't, like you said, people don't really acknowledge it because it's not a disease that a lot of people are suffering from. It's usually someone who's in, a, in the office who's typing, you know, seven, eight hours a day, doing a lot of repetitive motion. And it, it's very, very painful. If you see people walk around, you think they're like, they're wearing like little, little casts on their yep. arms. And, you know, on their hands. You know. Look for the natural approach to stuff like this because, you know, it, it caused by the nerves, mm -hmm. you know, and you don't want, you know, they'll, they'll throw pharmaceutical at you so fast. To me, that doesn't, that's not an answer. Well, it's a it's a shortcut answer. So if you're in pain, of course you want to get rid of the pain. But if you're taking, but there's the, natural ways to get rid of the right. pain. So if you're taking the pharmaceutical grade uh, pain killers, you're going to compromise your liver. So now you have an issue where now your liver's compromised. Well, you're you going to deteriorate. So now you're, you're breaking. You're, you're fixing one thing but creating another problem. So that's then why, you ain't fixing that. So we're actually that's why we're recommending that if you have this situation, you want to use some type of natural painkiller, not necessarily the analgesics that the, the pharmaceutical uh, that the Western medical offers. Don't run to them first. Yeah. Now you can get assistance from us from www. TheUrbanHerb.net, and you can be, call us if for any you know if you want to talk to somebody 888-619-4372. Thank you for listening again. You have a nice day. Them y'all.